Welcome back. This is Dan Haby with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we're going to answer Derek's question here in the ClickFunnels um, official group. All he wanted to know is how he could build something that looks like this inside of 2.0. So I shot a quick video showing him three different ways to get that set up. As always, if you like my stuff, make sure you subscribe and also go over and join the CF Ninja Hackers Facebook group where we talk about ClickFunnels all day long. Okay, so Derek had a question on how to build this inside of ClickFunnels 2.0, and it's really quite simple. We can build this as either section, a row, or a column even. So let's just come in here and let's just say we want to build this as a section. Come in, we'll say we want an extra small section. That might be a little bit too small, so let me back out of here. Let me kill that. Let's make it a, a small section instead. I could have uh, just gone into the editor and done it. So let's go into the editor. I could have changed it by just changing the size right here as well. And then let's just put some padding at the top just to get it down from the top. And in this case here, we want, uh, we want to put some corners on here because that's what he had in the image. So probably let's just, uh, put in, just put in 10 here. Oops. Let me just put in 10. And so let me see what else we had here. Then basically inside of there, we had some, um, we had text, divider, timer, divider, text, text, button. So let me see if I can remember all that. So we got to put in a one column row and then let's put in some text. I'll use a sub headline element in this case here. And then we had a divider and then we had a countdown timer, which is right here. We had another divider. We had, I think two lines of text then and we had a button. So that's all pretty simple. Obviously with the headline element, we're gonna come in here. We're going to obviously make it whatever we want. We're gonna change the size. We're gonna change the font family, the font weight, all that kind of stuff. Then on the divider itself, we can come in here and we probably don't want a shadow on there, but maybe let's say we only want it at 90% of the width and we want that thing centered and color wise we're just going to kind of gray it out like theirs was so we'll come down here and let's just say we want it down here like 28 30 percent of black and then we got that there and in fact what we can do at this point now let's just uh, clone this one drag it down below it delete out the other one now of course in here we probably want some padding top and bottom on this um, so give it a little more space in there and then we'll come into our countdown timer and we don't want the colons in there. We want it to show the days. So that's what we had days, um, down to seconds, no colons and the words at the bottom. So that's good. And then, uh, so it'd be a countdown timer. You put in the date, uh, and time that you want it to count down to. And then let me see here. Um, the countdown itself, we can, let's change the color. Let's change the font size here. So those are the numbers that we're changing the font size on there. Come back down to countdown, uh, time container label. Here's what I'm looking for. And again, here we can come in here. We can open this up, make that a little bit bigger as well. And then of course we can come in to one more text element, uh, change that out. Next text element below here. Let's just say we want the uh, small call there to have a strike through. Then the TO, there was a, a pipe in there. And on my computer, it's right underneath my delete key when you hit shift. So we can put that pipe in there. We of course can uh, come in, override the size, make that text a little bit bigger. And then we can come into our button itself. And what I found here is when you come into a button straight away, there's nowhere to set the, uh, some, of the, some of the stuff we wanted to set in there until we come in and we pick a type. So let's just uh, pick this modern button right there. Uh, problem with that modern button is it is going to have a shadow on the bottom of it. So okay, we want corners on it. We don't want that shadow below it. And then um, font size, we're going to increase that, of course. And then color wise, I'm just going to pick a greenish color like they had. 
and let me just grab a hold of this color then because we are going to say we want the hover to be the same color and then the pressed state as well to be uh, the same color and we just pop that in there so there we go basically we very crudely uh, created that button I see there is a a border around the one he has there existing so we can come in here we can put a little bit of a border around here if we would like and of course change the color of that border and um, well let me just turn this down a little bit so either way you play around with it um, until you get it looking like you want so now this was built in a small section what we can do instead of building that in a small section we can instead we'll have to turn off the background color of the section uh, let me see here we need to come down here and we will kill that background color of the section because we can do the exact same thing with a row so we come in to the row put in the background color of white put on some corners and then here we'd have to adjust some of the padding and stuff uh, depending on how far you want it away from the top and the bottom and then of course we could also instead of doing it inside of the row let's kill that background color we can do it inside of the column so you come in where it turns blue and then you find this little gear it's either going to be at the top or the bottom for the column settings we can do the exact same thing here you can come in uh, turn everything white uh, put on some uh, padding or some uh, radius on the corners and then again in this case here we are definitely going to want to put in some padding top and bottom to make that look right so there you go very quickly how this can be built in uh, cf 2.0